morning guys and girls look at this beautiful beautiful morning for any angler an overcast day like this could mean something exciting uh, we've had some bad weather and bad weather and on top of that a uh, bit more bad weather and rough seas so the fishing hasn't really been great we had a over three meter swell yesterday 3.3 or 3.4 we're back at Dana Bay and I'm hoping to lure in some muscle cracker steady seas down to about a 2.3 Still big seas moving down to low tide so I can see what's happening. I, I enjoy that, especially an area I haven't fished much. So you can see on the spring low what it looks like. So when the push comes we've got a bit of a, a bit of a better understanding of the structure, the holes, the banks and all of that. So yeah we're gonna put some bait out. Muscle cracker, stem brass, maybe fish for some pollute. And the odd cob, maybe there's a cob. I haven't felt the water temperature, but I think it's a bit warmer. The other day it was about 16, 15, very, very cold. And we only got those small hullies. Um, so today, let's hope we have a bit of better luck and we'll put in a, a bit of time. I want to go look for some red bait. When the water is nice and low, we'll see what that looks like. So for now, what I think, I might put up some white mussel, some bloodworm. I've got about three bloodworm. The bank for a steady and uh, keep it up for tight turns, then to put that out and uh, maybe a bait for, for a cracker here, a white muscle cracker where there's a bit of deeper water. But it's very, very low now, uh, nothing really looked that great on the way here, but we know what it more or less will look like when the, the tide progresses and the day progresses. So let's hold thumbs that today we've got some screaming reels, some shiny bodies and some great photos. Thanks for joining us and remember to subscribe to our channel please. Like this video, uh, it really helps us and uh, hit that bell notification button so then every time we upload something you'll be notified. And, uh, yeah guys, thank you for all the great comments, suggestions, we always welcome that, that's how we can improve the channel slowly but surely we'll create more content for you guys again and we want to thank our sponsors Alpha and Omega and, and Chiquita uh, for contributing to our channel so that we can uh, make this content for you guys thank you very much sardine on that for a steenic or a cobby can uh, actually double that up for a maybe a prawn and a So I'm going to put out an uh, octi leg. It's still going to low tide. And uh, nice diverse bait. You can catch almost anything on it. Maybe they're in a cobby or a steady. And what I want to do is not too much. A little bit, yeah. Then ring it up the line.
take this, but I must say it only takes its own spools. I won't buy it again because it's only 200 meter spools. I thought I could use this for all my spools. I'm gonna win. So I like the quick rigging it quick, but it keeps on getting stuck inside and that's very annoying. Okay, now what I do with this, on my line it's for bloodworm as well. I make a figure of a separate piece of line, guys, not in your main suit line. So this can move up and down, but I pull it nice and tight so it stays there. So then all you do, with a bloodworm or like this, what I'll do is on that little figure of eight, I'm just going to put a bit of cotton to hold my bait nice and high. So I use that figure of eight to tie it to. That uh, piece of mono I've put on top here. Can't see it now, it's under the octi. <laughs> That's just a piece of line you use, like 0.6, 0.60 or 0.70. And you cut the two tag ends off, and it's just a figure of eight with two short tags that stays there. And that can hold your bait very nice. So for the bloodworm as well, works like a bob. Like a charm. Let's tie it off. This we're gonna name a sloppy joe. <coughs> okay guys now for this. Um, I've got on a slide, but my slide is on my main, not on a semi-slide. I've got a full slide on this because of a uh, big nose grinder or sembrush. And I'm using a 3-0 hook, nylon grab, so it can roll around a bit. A 3-0 uh, Maruto circle. You can't get right now. I've had a few still, but it's a different trio, not the. It's more like a four, <laughs> a thin one, thin guy. No, not looking nice. It's too low now.
Sometimes it's a nice cuddly then so <laughs> I've had two nice bites and I've lost three or four sinkers in the last four casts. So I've changed my sinker strategy and I've put some uh, some matured red bait uh, combo with some uh, white mussel. Let's see if we can lure a bait. There was definitely a good fish that time now. And uh, with the pushing tide it looks like they're coming onto the rocks here. We waited quite a while, we waited a few hours for this to happen. So yeah, let's hope we get some fishing now. things first we arrived here on a spring low so we can look for some bait that washed out so there's quite a few pods of red bait and always take this with you cut them open collect them because they can either be like Marnie said this morning can be feeding on this can be feeding on fresh can be feeding on rotten can be feeding on anything you don't know it changes overnight but this is the first time in 22 years I fished with my cousin again. The last time was almost also on this coast, 22 years ago at Hartimbos. And uh, awesome, awesome and a privilege for us to, to get to fish together. As, as youngsters, we used to fish and hunt together non-stop. Not 22, 32 years, sorry, 32 years. He's also a buddy now. He's just slightly younger than me. Eden for a reason you can see really really unspoiled beautiful area close to French Mansuk between Mosso Bay and Horat and uh, really such a nice area can't wait to get a bait in the water as well and uh, making a double hook trace two circle hooks just to uh, reduce the hookups and uh, gonna get that on we on low here close to spring tide there's so many species you can fish for cobbies the smaller cobbies um, muscle cracker brasher the autumn tot collion steambrass pig nose ground to the white steambrass it's just unlimited what you can get yeah so you fish all natural try and get some natural baits I'm definitely putting a chocker bait out as well the blob see how that works so yeah really humbled and privileged to be uh, every time I can't have been here in years and I, I regret <laughs> that I haven't been here in a long time because it's so 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 amazing yeah then another thing just on the sinker instead of uh, Know your line your nylon always you can use a piece of rope what I do is I just make a double loop there like that and I cable tie it to my hook oh my sinker that way I won't hit it off all the time because it's nice and loose like that make that loop a bit smaller so it doesn't hook up too much but at least it doesn't hit off so at the top hook a small little size 1 circle look yeah I've got my 3-0 I just 
I'm now going to go six out, but here's a blob bait. I want to fish a, a three out, and then I'll fish a bit of red bait. That's kind of the trace I'm going to put out here. All right, I still need to fix the foam. So for that, use a little bit of toothpick. This one. Fish a bit of white muscle. Oh, there's so much. Oh, awesome. Now this one I'm going to fix the other way around because I want to fish a blob bait first. I'm going to keep it close to the hook for now. We can always move it up for other baits. But with the blob bait, I'll keep it right there. Doesn't have to be there. Something I like doing. So that's all sorted, rip the rod. And then we can have a throw. No, I oh know, I know you guys must be very jealous. Because if you really see what it looks like here, yeah, you will be very jealous. Such an awesome place. Start with that, eh? Bit of sand here. A little bit of fine rain coming through. So I'll use for the brasher later. My 15 foot heavy. My waft, 14 foot ultralight, says 2 to 4 ounce, I throw 5 ounce on it, my bait, actually a multiplier rod, I just cut that off, and it works fine. the soft side out yet. Pushing both circles against my wall. <laughs> but it definitely works for not getting stuck. Just I like striking some of the smaller fish which uh, the circle it doesn't always work. to market model. Chocolate red bait and I think I'll quickly switch because my chocolate is slightly pink. I didn't check. Ah, so I think we're gonna switch quickly to uh, white muscle most probably. This is what it should look like, and we to blame. We, I'm standing on red bait. This is red bait everywhere. Um, therefore, good good bait to use in this area. And uh, oh, it's 
so nice all the sea life for the year. It's really, really nice. Little crabs and sea stores and everything. Thank you. 